So I had said I wasn't really planning on doing this video, but I'm just such a sucker for these hidden Mickey mystery pins. Today I have two pouches of the Disneyland 2019 Wave C Hidden Mickey Mystery Pins. I last opened up the Wave C 2019 Disney World pins and I love that series. Thankfully I've completed all of the Hidden Mickey pin sets that I wanted to. And that I said I wasn't as much of a fan of the Disneyland set, so I didn't know if I was going to get them. But a little while ago, I found these on eBay for under the retail cost. So I was like, might as well go ahead and get some to open. Also, it's nice because this makes things kind of fully symmetrical. I'm going to put links in the description to my Wave A, B, and C Hidden Mickey Mystery Pin videos for Walt Disney World and Disneyland for 2019. So again, I have here two of the Disneyland Wave C 2019 Hidden Mickey Mystery Pin pouches. Aesthetically, they look exactly the same as the ones from Walt Disney World. They're this dark red in color, and they're all a yellow retail, which is about $13, but I got these on eBay, I think for about 11 bucks each. So I have two pouches, which means four pins total. Now I will say I do like some of these Wave C Disneyland sets. There's like these classic characters that are musicians. There's also this Disneyland D. So I'd be most happy with those, but of course, just hoping for no doubles. So it's always exciting with these. You just gotta cut off the top and see what the pins are inside. It's always like a careful surgical extraction, like take out this little piece of cardboard, which is a little bit more difficult than normal that has the pins wedged inside. Okay, so we're gonna see what this first pin is. And I'm pretty happy with this first pin because this is from the Musician series, which I think is my favorite from the set and it features Pluto. So I think this is a really sweet set design-wise. It is my favorite ones that are from this wave in Disneyland. Here we have Pluto. It looks like he's playing like either a baritone or a tuba. And it's cool that it's like the screen printed music notes swirled around him. And just a little look at this back. This one is hidden Mickey pin number six of six in this set. Also just like holding this again, this is actually a pretty darn nice size for a hidden Mickey pin. But I think I am excited about this next pin because the back of this looks like a Disneyland D silhouette. And this is, and this features Aurora. Okay, I don't know why it was so hard on this Disneyland hidden Mickey pin series because so far these first two pins are really awesome. This pin was part of a classic Disneyland D that featured a very eclectic mixture of characters. And here we have Princess Aurora on this and she is fully pretty in pink. And then here's the back of this one and this pin Mickey is number one of six in this set. Okay, well that was a very strong first one because those were two pins from the sets that I liked the most. Hopefully that'll be good omens continuing with this one. These pouches almost feel a little bit more full than they normally do, and I'm wondering if it's because these pins are a slightly bigger size. Because yeah, even taking these out, it just seems kind of like there's more pins in there than normal. Okay, but we're gonna see this first pin. Well, this first pin is one of the shared hidden Mickeys between Disneyland and Disney World, and it is from the Doghouse series. So this pin, I won't say it's boring, but perhaps a little bit more monochromatic. And this is the doghouse for Max, so I'm guessing that must be Max from The Little Mermaid. This pin's, a, you know, a little bit drab for me, but could be worse. <laughs> How nice, the back of this pin even says that this is from Max of The Little Mermaid. And this is Hidden Mickey pin number two of six. All right, so we have one final pin in here based on the back. I am hoping that this is another one of those kind of musician pins. And we'll see, this pin is mini. So I'm actually very happy about this pin. So gosh, really, these are some pretty nice pins for hidden Mickey pins. This one, it features Minnie Mouse and she's playing a harp. It has the same kind of music note screen printed details that the Pluto pin did. And I think I'm gonna have to find the matching Mickey for this pin since I am a sucker for getting matching sets of Minnie and Mickeys. And then this mini pin is also number two of six in this set. So I'm actually really excited about all those Hidden Mickey pins. I think they are really awesome. I also really did luck out in the ones that I got, except for the Max Doghouse pin, which almost feels a little bit more like a jailhouse than a doghouse. But this was perfect, and I got those pouches a little bit under retail, which makes it even better. And now we have like the full paired matching sets for videos for Disneyland and Disney World for Wave A, B, and C for all of 2019. But now you may be asking yourself, well, it is 2020, it's March 2020, and and there are currently no new Hidden Mickey pins in the Disney parks. Well, word on the street is it that they're gonna be rebranding the Hidden Mickey pins to be Hidden Disney pins. 
This isn't really gonna change the pins themselves. Hidden Mickey pins actually used to be called cast lanyard pins, but then they switched it to add the little Mickey icon and called them Hidden Mickey pins, but it seems like they're gonna be switching the name to Hidden Disney pins so that they can incorporate other properties like Star Wars and Marvel. And from what I've been hearing, it sounds like these Hidden Disney pins will be hitting the parks in June 2020. So 2019 was so great for Hidden Mickey pins. They got three waves out. The mystery pouches came out super quickly. So I guess it's a slight bummer that there's now kind of this very big delay in the 2020 pins. But I'm excited for what this means in terms of Hidden Mickeys or I guess now Hidden Disney pins. And also I'm gonna be in Disneyland in June. So as long as they kind of keep to that timeline, hopefully there'll be some really awesome new pins I can trade for in the parks then. So it'll still be a wait until those new pins come out, but I'm so excited for when they do. I'm so excited to see what kind of series they're gonna come out with. I, for quite a while, have been a really big fan of Hidden Mickey pins, some of the 2019 sets. I finally completed them and they are so beautiful. So hopefully that means it's all good things coming in the future with these new Hidden Disney pins. But thanks for watching.